If you look inside the sea cucumber, there are five lines. What on earth is this? Vicious science. Today, let's do the sea cucumber anatomy. Sea cucumber can expand and decrease its body freely. It gets very long like this. It looks like cucumber, doesn't it? Sea cucumber is echinoderms such as sea urchin and starfish. Like the sea urchin and starfish's tube feet in my previous videos. Sea cucumber also crawls with its tube feet. Their tube feet is developed on the abdominal area, so it crawls toward the abdomen. You can't see tube feet well outside water. But if you put sea cucumber in the water, you can see them coming out and turning its body. At the end of the tube feet, there are suckers. You can see them attached if you pull the sea cucumber's body. Sea urchin and starfish have a vertical mouth and anus. However, sea cucumbers are horizontal shape. It's easy to distinguish the sea cucumber's mouth from anus. The mouth is where the tentacles are, and the other side is anus. Many people don't know that there are tentacles around the sea cucumber's mouth because you can't see tentacles well outside the water. But if you put them in water, you can see many tentacles surrounding the mouth. Sea cucumber uses these tentacles to crawl and uses like a hand to get food in its mouth. So sea cucumber uses their tentacles and tube feet to crawl on the seabed to eat plankton and organic matters. And the other side of the black hole is its anus. It does a lot of things besides excrementing. Inside the anus of sea cucumber, there is an empty space called the cloaca. Around cloaca, there are muscles that make anus contract and relax like this. The action of these muscles causes water to enter and exit through its anus. Sea cucumber has a respiratory organ located on this side, so it can breathe using the water that came in through the anus. Since sea cucumber can obtain nutrients by digesting plankton and organic matter that have entered the anus through the water flow, we can know that sea cucumber can also eat through the anus. Lot of works for anus, isn't it? Since the anus of sea cucumber has a flow of water and also a cozy empty space, some fishes and small crustaceans may live here as parasites. Some parasites live on the intestines of sea cucumbers, but sea cucumbers are very regenerative, so they don't get serious damage. Sea cucumbers spill their guts into the anus when they're in danger. This is a protection strategy using its excellent regenerative power. It can be seen as one of the autotomy phenomena, such as tail cutting in lizards. Some sea cucumbers dump out their predators by pouring out a sticky tube called the cuvierian tubules. It's an amazing creature, isn't it? Now, let's dissect the sea cucumber. First, cut the sea cucumber. If you check the inside, you can see that it is full of some things. The orange thread-like organ here is the sea cucumber gonads. These orange ones are the ovaries, the female gonads. Males have milky testis like this. This one was full of gonads. Once you've taken out the gonads, you can see the digestive tract of the sea cucumber. From the mouth to the esophagus, stomach, and intestines, they are all connected to the anus. Let's take out the digestive tract carefully. It seems to be very long. Some people make this digestive tract to salted seafood for eating. And inside the sea cucumber, there's one more organ besides gonads and digestive tract. We've learned that sea cucumber breathes through the anus. This is the respiratory organ of a sea cucumber called the respiratory trees. The respiratory trees is located both sides of the anus, so it absorbs oxygen from the water. If you take out the respiratory trees and put it in the water, you can see it spreads out like branch shape. This shape looks like tree. So people call this as the respiratory trees. Now, if you remove all the internal organs, you can see five stripes inside the sea cucumber. It is a muscle of sea cucumber called longitudinal muscle. Sea cucumbers control their size of the body by contracting and relaxing the longitudinal muscles. When they feel threatened, they shrink and harden their body. And if you look around its mouth, 
There's a ring of calcareous ossicles around the esophagus. And there are muscles around this ring that move the tentacles. Sea cucumbers can pull their tentacles into their bodies with these muscles. Lastly, sea cucumbers absorb seawater into their body, move their tube feet and tentacles, and use them like blood. The body system of these echinoderms is called the water vascular system. If you are curious about the water vascular system, please refer to the starfish anatomy video. This is the end of the sea cucumber anatomy. Sea cucumber is known as a high nutritional food. After frying the sea cucumber deliciously, I hid it between the chicken breasts and gave it to Sebastian. Surprisingly, he eats well. Oh, but in the end, he's a picky eater. Sebastian doesn't seem to like sea cucumbers either. But anyway, he is happy. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe.